So, so my pal Ben Jollymore up in Canada sent me this to review. This is the Snoov Hemlock. This is a non-tobacco sniff, herbal sniff. It is described in the reviews on MrSnuff.com as smelling like floor cleaner. Oh boy, with a nicotine rush that is dangerous. Well, let's find out. In the tin, yeah, I'm smelling apricot. No lemon floor cleaner. Tiny little bit of maybe dill. That's a really weird combination of scents. It's dry. It is bone dry. And it is as fine as a mummy fart. This is just really going to be a challenge to sniff. <clears throat> Again, the nicotine in this is purported to be at almost a dangerous level. I think with these snoov snuffs, what they do a lot of time is they add some chemical nicotine to the herbal snuffs. Not sure about that, but let's find out what we have here. Wish me luck. Yeah, not thrilled about doing this. My last uh, experience with the snub herbal snuffs was the Reaper, which I promptly gave away. Did not like it at all. But let's find this out. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Nah, nah. Tres, dos, uno. I get the floor cleaner on mahogany or the pledge on the dining room table. Um, yeah, it's not an unpleasant scent to me at all, but I would recommend taking very small bumps. Oh, God. Within seconds, the nicotine is just slamming me. On my highly subjective scale, and it is subjective, I have to remind you of that. This is not scientific. I do not chemically test each nicotine level in every snuff I review. I do not have the ability, equipment, nor chemistry to do that. So if I tell you what the nicotine is, it's subjective. It's based on my very high tolerance and memories of my tolerance when it was not so high. Uh, on a, that scale where one is no perceptible nicotine and 10 is potentially dangerous, for the nicotine naive, this is a very easy nine. Be very, very careful. Even with my rarefied high nicotine tolerance, this is right around an eight, eight and a half. This is really, really, really strong shit. And I advise you to take very good care with this for a couple of reasons. <clears throat> First of all, the very fine and dry as a bone grind will make this a challenging sniff. Secondly, the nicotine is ridiculously high. This could be toned down in a whole variety of ways. So nicotine is going to be somewhere between an eight and a nine on this. Be very, very careful and also sniff with care as I will right now, because I like this actually. Yeah, there is something else in here. There's some sage. Um, there is some apricot. There is some lemon oil here. Uh, there is a little bit of dill here. A couple of other herbals that I can't identify. So on the squinty scale where one is dead, God die. And five is delicious. I'm rating this one, and it surprises me. I'm rating this one at a four out of five. Would I use this all day? Yes, I could, if the nicotine didn't kill me. I could. This is a scent I could keep in my nose all day. It's really quite pleasant to me. However, I could not use this every day. Uh, I would get tired of the scent profile, I think, fairly quickly. I think the nicotine would become a challenge over time. 
So maybe all day, once in a while, never every day would I buy this again. Even though I gave it a four out of five with very high and satisfying nicotine, I will not get this. I will not pay money for this. But I do thank you, Ben Jollymore, for sending me this 10 gram tin. You can get these snuffs exclusively at mrsnuff.com as Six Photo manufactures these specifically for mrsnuff.com. Not bad. You might want to try it if you can. I won't buy this, uh, although I could use this as an all day. And I may, excuse me, pardon the burp, I may spend the rest of this day sniffing this one tiny, tiny pinch at a time. And it has to be tiny pinches with this. That's it. Thank you again, Ben Jollimore, for the generous sample. I appreciate it. I do not have a lot of budget these days to buy new snuffs, and I need to. We've got four more from Simply Sniffly Simp. Sniffly Simply Snuff. Anyway, Simon's got four new ones on Mr. Snuff. I'm very eager to order and try. Just got to wait for the budget to catch up. So when somebody sends me a sample like this, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much, Ben Jollymore in Canada. Much appreciated. Uh, so four out of five on the squinty scale, eight to nine out of 10 on the nicotine scale. Do be careful. Not unpleasant to sniff, depending on your desires. I do not think it smells like floor cleaner followed by a bump of coke, as somebody wrote in Mr. Snuff in the reviews. Uh, what I think this is, is it's a very nice, interesting, well-balanced herbal snuff with a little too much nicotine. From the Dank Basement, Paul Shelbiter, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. If you are subscribed, click the notification bell icon and custom tailor your notifications so that you will be notified when I upload new content. Thank you for hitting the like button. It not only helps my fragile aging ego, but it does help the YouTube algorithm. And of course, your comments are welcome, and I will try to answer as many comments as I can. Thanks for watching. Snuff hemlock. Hemlock is a deadly plant. I think Socrates had to drink a cup of hemlock. Huh. Hemlock.